That's why I really started to like really fall for her was how genuine she is around just like friends, family, I can enjoy seeing her in her element killing it on stage and um i love the show man she's got bangers you want to keep things private but at the same time like i'm not here to like hide anything like that's my girl that's your girl you know what i mean that's that's Here's my lady it so it's it's like i'm proud of that when it comes to surprising celebrity pairings the buzz surrounding travis kels and taylor swift has captivated attention Recently, the NFL star revealed the genuine reason behind asking out the pop sensation, and it's more intriguing than one might expect. Kels shared in a candid conversation the blend of unexpected twists, fun, and mutual admiration that prompted him to make his move on one of the world's most famous singers. He spoke about finding the courage to ask her out, the surprise connections they discovered, and the moments that made him realize Taylor was someone special he couldn't let slip away. It's a charming and surprising tale, filled with genuine moments that fans of both the football star and the pop icon have eagerly awaited. So grab your popcorn and settle in because this isn't just another celebrity fling. It's a story about taking chances, discovering unexpected connections, and the magic that happens when two worlds collide. Travis Kels and Taylor Swift are giving us all something to talk about, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single detail. The couple has been romantically connected since September 2023. It all started when Travis attempted, albeit unsuccessfully, to give Taylor a friendship bracelet with his contact information during her Kansas City concert. Despite the initial setback, she later accepted his invitation to join him at a Chiefs game at Arrowhead Stadium, quickly becoming a regular in the crowd. Reflecting on the pivotal moment, Travis shared on the bus in with the boys podcast, Taylor Swift's unexpected behavior during the Kansas City Chiefs game against the Chicago Bears in September really solidified things for us. He continued, explaining that they had already been seeing each other privately, but it was Taylor's down-to-earth attitude towards going public that impressed him the most. Recalling Taylor's first game attendance, Travis recounted, The first game she came to against the Bears, I was like, Okay, I could probably set you up with everything. And she just walked right through the front door. There was no going around or talking to security. She was like, I just want to be around the family and friends and experience this with everybody. He added, she got major points for that. I was like, damn, she's in the madness. She wants to support me and do things like that. She really won me over with that one. Conversely, Travis has been a regular at Taylor's Aris tour performances, often seen singing along from the VIP tent surrounded by a star-studded roster of A-list Swifties. The concerts are electric. Travis enthused, noting his recent debut performance at London's Wembley Stadium alongside Taylor. She's having fun up there, so I can enjoy seeing her in her element, killing it on stage. I love the show, man. She's got bangers. Others have remarked on how swiftly Travis integrated into Taylor's life, with one observer noting, Travis Kelsey went from being refused meet and greet access to Taylor. Swift doing his own choreography on stage during the song she wrote about him because he and his entire family are there to watch her international tour in their own VIP tent. Even Travis's family came to see her, as one person shared on X, we also have a lot of people from out of town who traveled right. Jason and Travis, screaming with their big arms up, is sending me, so cute. <laughs> Later in the podcast conversation, Kelsey joined hosts Will Compton and Taylor Lewin in discussing their top three songs from Taylor Swift's discography. I really started listening to Taylor's music when she came out with 1989, Kelsey explained. I knew who she was before that. We're the same age, so through high school and everything, I knew who Taylor was as she was getting her career started. But I think 1989 was where it really started to go crazy. For that reason, Kelsey ranked Blank Space at number one, followed by Cruel Summer, the opening track from her Arist tour, in third place. He also chose So High School, a song from Taylor's latest Grammy-winning album, The Tortured Poets Department, which holds sentimental meaning for him. It's got a little bit of a sentimental meaning, he admitted before quoting the lyrics, You know, D, I know Aristotle. Regarding their privacy amid their high-profile lives, Kelsey emphasized the importance of striking a balance. 
You want to keep things private, but at the same time, I'm not here to hide anything. You know, that's my girl, that's my lady, he asserted. I'm proud of that. I'm not sitting here trying to juggle how am I going to keep this under wraps. You just don't want to let everybody into your personal life and have them comment on it, especially knowing that everything she does is getting a headline. He did admit there have been a few drawbacks to being in Taylor's spotlight, notably random fans showing up at his home in Kansas City. I enjoy just about every aspect of it. It's just that when you're at home, you want privacy and you don't always get that, he said. The wild online speculation is another annoyance. The athlete mentioned that his father would occasionally come across crazy tabloid stories and call him to fact check. He'd see something completely out of the blue, like something about me and Taylor, and he's like, hey, you guys okay? Kelsey always had a quick reply, get off Facebook, dad. Despite these challenges, he emphasized that Taylor reciprocates his efforts. Just recently, she did something really cool. She invited him on stage to perform with her during one of her concerts. That's not something any of her previous boyfriends have done, so you know it meant a lot to him. It shows they're not just partners but also big fans of each other's work, supporting and cheering each other on. It's pretty clear they've got something special going on there, right? Yeah, it seems like the tortured poets department might have just gained a new member, added one commentator. Taylor Swift made sure to capture every moment of his surprise performance on her Instagram. And get this, she's still laughing about Travis Kell's grand performance during his surprise appearance on stage at her show in London's Wembley Stadium last Sunday, reported X. For the first time ever during her huge ace tour, the pop icon decided to bring her boyfriend on stage, and let me tell you, the NFL star didn't hold back one bit in the song and dance routine. Picture him in a slick tuxedo, tails, and even a top hat. It had his girlfriend and countless Swifties absolutely swooning. So long Joe Alwyn, hello Mr. Monopoly, quipped another person on X. So, the 3X Super Bowl. Champion tight end of the Kansas City, Chiefs has joined his superstar girlfriend on stage in front of Paul, McCartney and 89 Kin London, a real sentence of all the timelines, this is the greatest long-lived Taylor Swift and Travis Kels. The entire spectacle was a true showstopper, and Taylor's fans couldn't get enough of seeing their favorite singer and her new beau lighting up the stage together. Later, she wrote, Wembley Stadium. Round one was so surreal looking out into crowds of 90,000 fans each night, and hearing that volume those were some of the loudest crowds I've ever heard. Acoustic sections went off. But it was Kelsey who stole the spotlight and captured the hearts of Swifties once again with his silent movie-inspired performance during I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. The three-time Super Bowl champ surprised everyone by joining Swift during her outfit change for the song, catching many off guard as he had been hanging around in the VIP tent until then. I'm still cracking up, swooning over Killer Trav's ace tour debut. Never going to forget these shows, can't wait to do it five more times in August, up next Dublin. She wrote, sharing photos and videos from Kelsey's time on stage. The entire moment added to the excitement of the night and left fans eagerly anticipating more surprises on the tour. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end stepped in for the dancer who usually joins Swift on stage during that segment, as reported by People. He not only assisted Swift in getting ready to resume her performance, but also added a comedic touch by dabbing a bit of makeup on both of them, much to the delight of fans. This moment echoed the excitement from when footage of Swift running into Kelsey's arms off stage in Argentina last November and kissing him went viral. It's clear their chemistry both on and off stage continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Kelsey made his debut on Swift's Instagram grid last Friday when she posted a selfie with him alongside Britain's Prince William, his son Prince George, and daughter Princess Charlotte. Happy birthday, mate. London shows are off to a splendid start, she captioned the post, celebrating Prince William's 42nd birthday and kicking off her three-night stint at Wembley. The moment had fans buzzing, seeing Kelsey alongside royalty and Swift in such a casual celebratory setting. Prince William's account posted the same shot from a different angle, thanking the singer-songwriter for a great evening. Footage of the hair apparent dancing to Shake It Off quickly went viral on TikTok. Kensington Palace clarified that the photo was taken before the Friday show and mentioned that William's wife, Catherine, currently undergoing cancer treatment, stayed home with their youngest son, Prince Louis. 
The event also saw the attendance of Oscar-nominated actor Salma Hayek, Bridgerton star Nicola Colvin, designer Stella McCartney, and queer eye personality Jonathan Van Ness, adding to the star-studded atmosphere. When Travis Kels appeared on stage with Taylor Swift during her ACE tour, it marked a significant milestone in their nearly year-long relationship. According to a source from Entertainment Tonight, this moment was viewed as a significant step for them and could indicate larger milestones ahead. It was definitely a new defining point in their relationship, the source explained. They had a blast getting the chance to show a personal side of themselves to the world. They are thrilled with how everything turned out and enjoyed seeing all the fan reactions. The source hinted that Kelsey's stage appearance, dressed in a suit and carrying Swift in a white ensemble, could signify something deeper. They are naturally bonded, the insider shared. It was a very special experience for them and suggests what their future together might hold. During rehearsals, Kelsey and Swift were adorable and affectionate with each other, the source added. Swift is currently playing her first show in Dublin, but Kelsey hasn't been spotted in the crowd or on stage yet. It's unclear whether Kelsey traveled with Swift to Ireland or if he had to return to the U.S. for work. However, a source told Entertainment Tonight earlier this week that another performance with Swift is very likely. After all, Kelsey has shown he can pick things up quickly, the insider explained. Travis only had one night of rehearsal the evening before he performed on stage, and he didn't miss a beat. Taylor was absolutely thrilled as Travis embraced his dapper role. The two are hoping he can make another cameo in the future. But even though these two are doing so well, it in no way means that she's not scared of jinxing it, shared a source. While neither is new to fame, becoming one half of the most famous couple on earth was a bigger adjustment for Travis. His life has changed a lot with all the public attention, added a second source. Taylor was concerned that bringing Travis into her world might overwhelm him, but he embraced it and handled it incredibly well, continued the second source. Travis addressed the increased attention during an October 2023 press conference, saying, There are a lot of people who care about Taylor, and rightfully so. The source added that Travis's attitude made her fall even more in love with him. A third source reveals there were some adjustments for Travis, who moved into a $6 million mansion in Kansas City shortly after their relationship went public. People would show up at his house and leave things on his doorstep, disclosed the source. It really freaked him out initially, he didn't feel safe. Travis's close-knit family, including his mom Donna Kels, his brother Jason, and sister-in-law Kylie Kels, played a crucial role in keeping him grounded. Travis was already a star before Taylor, but this has taken him to another level of fame, noted a fourth source. He's been managing it as best as he can, he's always had a strong support system around him. Now that the initial frenzy of their romance has settled, Taylor and Travis are feeling very secure in their relationship, explained the first source. They don't feel the need to bend over backwards and travel just to see each other for a short time, added the second source. They're in a comfortable phase. They FaceTime daily when they're apart and send each other cute texts. They are deeply in love despite their busy schedules. Taylor and Travis both have demanding careers which gives them the opportunity to miss each other, noted the third source. According to the second source, Taylor Swift and Travis Kels also keep their romance alive with small gestures and gifts. Swift has had concerns about how Travis would handle the fame that comes with dating her, especially since her past exes like Joe Alwyn weren't always comfortable with the spotlight. She's been mindful of Travis's adjustment to this new level of public attention. Speaking of exes, Joe Alwyn recently hinted at his feelings about his breakup with Taylor Swift in a recent interview published on Sunday. I would hope that anyone and everyone can empathize and understand the difficulties that come with the end of a long, loving, fully committed relationship of over six and a half years, Alwyn shared. He expressed that what made the situation particularly challenging was how quickly it became public knowledge, allowing the outside world to weigh in almost immediately. In an interview with London Sunday Times Style magazine about his new movie, Kinds of Kindness, where he stars as a single father alongside Emma Stone, the conversation naturally turned to Swift. The pair dated for over six years before their high-profile breakup in April 2023, and since then, both have maintained silence about the specifics, unless you count Swift's cryptic lyrics from the tortured poet's department. Alwyn emphasized that he and Swift had intentionally kept their relationship very private, 
a decision they had both agreed upon when they began dating in 2016. Swift, who had just come out of high-profile relationships with several big names in the entertainment industry, including Jake Gyllenhaal, Tom Hiddleston, Calvin Harris, Joe Jonas, John Mayer, and Harry Styles, revealed in her 2020 documentary, Miss Americana, that she was drawn to the less famous Joe Alwyn because of his wonderful, normal, balanced kind of life. Even after their split, Alwyn saw no reason to alter their approach, opting to keep any potentially messy details out of the public eye. I'm sure you can appreciate, given the level of noise and scrutiny about my past relationship, why I wouldn't want to just open the door to things like that right now, he told the magazine. Alwyn expressed his desire to keep his past from being dissected, speculated on, or pulled out of shape beyond recognition. And the truth is, to that last point, there will always be a gap between what is known and what is said, he continued. I have made my peace with that. Now, Taylor Swift and Travis Keltz are proving that distance doesn't dampen their connection. Days after her performance in London, the 34-year-old pop superstar paid homage to her NFL star boyfriend, also 34, by striking his signature Archer pose during her concert at Dublin's Aviva Stadium on Friday, June 28. Fan-captured footage shared on social media showed Swift incorporating Kelsey's iconic gesture into her performance of Midnight Rain from her Grammy-winning album Midnights. The gesture was a clear nod to their relationship and demonstrated Swift's affectionate acknowledgement of Kelsey even when they're apart, one person wrote. Girls sang a mashup of her most devastating songs ever then made. Sure, everyone knows where her heart is. One thing about Taylor Swift, she doesn't play about Travis Kelsey. As Swift sang the lyrics, and he never thinks of me, except when I'm on TV, she playfully smiled and struck the pose, sparking cheers from the audience. This isn't the first time Swift has incorporated Kelsey's signature move into her performances. She previously did the pose during So High School, a track filled with lyrics and references that fans speculate about regarding their romance. The playful gestures on stage further fueled fan excitement and speculation about their relationship. So what do you think? Will these two tie the knot soon and settle down? Comment down below and let us know, the video encouraged. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.